Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher Enhanced Edition. This episode I thought we would um, carry on with the main quests now that we've got the side stuff out of the way. And I thought we'd do uh, the Salamander's Tail first, try and get that done and then we'll do of Monsters and Men afterwards. And as you can see at the moment we need to talk to the Reverend. That is why I am outside the uh, chapel, the Chapel of Eternal Fire, that's the one. Uh, and we're going to talk to Mr. Beardy McReverend right here and see what he wants us to do. Hello? Speak quickly. Uh, Odo's and Hayron's monsters are gone. For Mikkel, I cleared the crypt of ghouls. Yeah. Odo's Done what you asked. Monsters are gone. Now give me the For info. Mikkel, I cleared the crypt of ghouls. I must admit I'm impressed. You may yet defeat Salamandra. To do that, of course. I need to know where to find them. I will say nothing until you eliminate the beast, Witcher. That is my condition. I'll see you later. Oh, what? I must deal with the beast once and for all. So, okay. So basically, I think he's saying that we have to do that other quest because I'm assuming that is. Let me just check that quickly. I'm sure that other one's to. The main thing of that is of monsters and men. I'm sure that's the one where you have to. We'll get rid of the beast is the main part of that, so Oh, so we have to go and see the witch. Oh, I thought we could do that one first. Stupid reverend. I've done so much for you and now you want me to kill some demon beast thing. Just because you can't. With your stupid fires. Your idea was to put some candles around town, it didn't do anything. It's not my fault you're an idiot. Oh well. I guess we'll walk over to the witch's house. Uh yeah, while we're walking there actually I can that was actually something I wanted to say. Uh, I was planning on doing from now on every Friday and Monday. I will um, release new a new set of videos, just so uh, it keeps it a bit regular for you guys, and you know when stuff's coming out. That means though that I probably have to pre-record stuff. Like I'm recording this on Tuesday. Yes, yeah, Tuesday today, and it won't be released. And you won't be seeing this until Friday. Uh, but I like to. Re uh, well, I'm going to record stuff in advance, so even if I'm busy and I don't have time to make the videos, I can still release them on the days that I said. So I think that'll probably work out a bit better. Uh, anyway, let's go. Oh, blah, blah blah. Oh, can't speak properly today. Uh, let's get over to the witch's house. The one who doesn't look like a witch, funny enough. Stupid kids, you're weird. Get him away. You bully Geralt. And he can't stand up to you because you're children. He'll get arrested if he hits you. More herbs or whatever these are. Herbs, yeah. Oh yeah, also I wanna... Is there a fire around here? I'm not sure there is. There's one back there anyway somewhere. In the uh, in place. Because I wanted to... I found those that cat's eye potion really useful in the crypt and I'm, I actually want to make some more potions because they seem to be quite good. They are a main part of this game actually so I should be using them more. So I'll sort of uh, make a load that are available to me and then save them up for when I need them. Anyway let's go see Abigail, see what she wants. Mrs. Witchy She looks uh, quiet <laughs> attractive for a witch what as I said before um, the reverend believes you summoned the, the beast believes you summoned the beast and what do you believe nothing yet what's your side of the story <laughs> I had nothing to do with it oh great that's your side of the story it wasn't a very detailed defense so I don't know if she's guilty or not really did I not loot all this stuff before? Or I just left it, I suppose. Have you not got anything else to say? What do you want? That wasn't a very interesting conversation. Oh. Oh yeah, she wanted me to get those petals. I forgot her. Yeah, I've got them, so. I gathered the white myrtle, I petals. The myrtle petals. Excellent. Now to prepare the potion. How is it made? In a cauldron. Which is secrets are you? The recipe is yours if you swear to take it to your grave. I swear. Draw close and listen. 
blend two ounces of cadaverin with the myrtle petals. Speak your name backwards, turn about three times leftwards, spit into the fire and stir the potion again. Complicated. <laughs> I knew witch's magic would be beyond the mind of a man. Grant me a moment to finish the potion. See you later. I think she is bullshit house. Say your name backwards and spin round three times and spit into a cauldron. She's clearly lying. Spin round three times. One, two, oh no, Geralt's not doing it. One, two, three. Uh, what's Geralt backwards? Go to Telerag, Telerag, and go. Nah, that's not gonna work. She just wants to me make me look like an idiot. Anyway, we should be good friends. You're a witch. I'm a witcher. You know, same name. Anyway, what do we have to do? I completely missed that little thing there. The witch promised to brew the potion. I should return in a while. Uh, can I get out, please? No? Oh, okay. I have to actually click on it. I want to talk to Alvin, actually. Alvin and the chipmunks? You saved me, right? Yeah, I you... Well, it didn't save your mum, though. Sorry. Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Eaten by demon dogs. It's alright. I barely knew them. Okay, that's all he says. You're not very interesting, kid. Although I'm very sorry that your parents died. And I'm sorry, I don't know if that was your mother that I didn't save, but whatever. Um, yeah, let's exit. Because she said, uh, come back later, as in all games, I'm assuming that she doesn't actually mean time, and that all she means is that you have to walk outside the house. Have you magically made the potion now? What do you want? Yeah, is the potion, potion ready? ready. Oh. Yes. Alvin? About time. Taste Took forever. No complaining. Now. Drink your medicine, boy. Abigail, I'm afraid. Why'd they skin the puppy? Why'd they hurt him? He was gentle. He hurt no one. And the girl from outside the village, she screamed horribly. Unlike any human. What? They had children torturing the witch's puppy again. Go uh, okay then. Oh my god, I hope he's not referring to what I think he's referring to. Plow her well. I don't think you should be saying that kind of thing, boy. Final judgment. The beast has met its end once. It doesn't fear death, it is death. How will you defeat human villainy? With your sword? You who died and still walk amongst the living. Who is summoning me? Enough. This could end badly. Abigail, break the trance. As you wish. By the power of the seven spheres, leave this body. I compel you. Be gone. Be gone, demon. Be gone. Alvin, go to bed. Geralt, another witcher, Berengar, preceded you. He left these missives. Thanks. Missives? Is that letters or something? I'm sure that means letters. Receive Ben. Oh yeah, notes. Okay. Hellhound soul. Uh, what do we do? Need to do next? I want to have a look at that stuff actually. That I got about Berengar, the other Witcher guy. Uh, I must see the Reverend. Tell him what I've learned about the beast, which is not much. I mean, Alvin. I'm guessing Alvin saw. I don't know. The witch had a dog, maybe, and Alvin saw it get killed by the townspeople because they're crazy and they don't like anybody who's remotely different, even if it is, if it is a sexy witch. Uh, and then he just went crazy and used his psychic powers to summon a demon dog. I don't know. Uh, where's that bit about? Is it in here? No. I kind of wanted to look at that. Um. The notes on. No, okay. Uh, I wanted to have a look at the notes that Berengar had. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's a quest item. A hastily written document, probably drafted by the Witcher while he was praying to fight the beast, and then he ran away because he's a wuss. First night, ninety-five kilograms of muscle, height around four and a half feet, fangs the length of a man's thumb to be avoided. Shares characteristics with Alzor's demon. Second night. Summons Bargeist with its howling. Has the ability to disappear. Probably by assuming spectral or spiritual form. 
can only be seen with the help of a potion. Oh. Uh, cat's eye potion, maybe? The third knight, highly resistant to iron and signs. Okay, so our signs aren't going to be very good against it. Walked right over three Urdens without noticing. That must be another spell, maybe. Fourth night, all features of Alzor's demon confirmed. The beast asks a question. Those who answer correctly stand a chance of slaying it. Oh, so it's like a quiz night. But you die if you get the question wrong. Uh, so I need the cat's eye potion. Um, I'm guessing some other ones might be alright. Oh, it added a... Okay. Maybe we can actually read about it in here as well. Oh, Hellhound, so it's not called The Beast, then. Immune to most effects, it is cor a corporeal creature, so knockdown or stun attempts are possible, yet rarely successful. Okay, so odds oh, not going to be that great, but it can work. Sensitive to steel, good thing I've got a steel sword. Fast style, good. Okay, I've got the fast style. Uh, able to summon Bargeist, to Hellhound traps its victims in a circle of fire and proceeds to tear them to pieces. The Hellhound, referred to also as the Beast, is a creature of the underworld, a spectre that assumes the form of a terrifying hound and tirelessly stalks its victims once it finds their trail. Yeah, me now. Peasants believe that the Hellhound Im embodies the vengeance of the gods who send the Beast to punish humans for their wickedness. Well, to be quite honest, I agree that these townspeople are wicked. I mean, all they do is bully Geralt for being, I don't know, a bit different. I mean, he's got white hair and, you know, funny eyes, but he does kill all their monsters, and yet they still they still make him cry at night because of all the nasty things they say. And I've forgotten what we're supposed to be doing next, which is very silly of me. I must see the Reverend, okay. Hopefully we'll find a fire on the way, and I can make some more potions. I'm actually liking the potions now that I... From I wasn't sure about the potions, but um, now that from when I used the cat's eye potion and that necrophage oil, that really helped actually, because the torch is just horrible because you have to use it as the weapon. In my opinion, it should be like I don't know, held in the other hand while you're using the sword, but whatever. Oh, there should be a fire over here by the royal huntsman. Yep. All right, huntsman guy. Even though you don't actually kill anything, and I do all the work around here, and you get overpaid. Uh, fireplace. Still got quite a lot of flint anyway, so I'm not worried about that. And potion making time. Let's see what we can make. Uh, but I don't know why potion of Triss for Triss stays there. I know it's a formula, but that was for a quest thing, wasn't it? Blizzard. Boost reflexes and reaction time, improving. Mm, that's not what I need the most. I need cat the most. I think that's what you need to see it. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, let's use that one. Well, where's it gone? I swear I made this before as well. Hmm. I oh, know. There we go. The cat's there. It's just because I used up something that was there. I thought it was going to appear down here. One idiot. Uh, necrophage. don't think we're going to be fighting necrophages. Swallow, we've got plenty of. Could do with a tawny owl though. Yeah, I bought some more alcohol off screen by the way because I thought I might run out. So let's have one tawny owl. Can't make thunderbolt because I don't have any of that thing. I don't think I have any of that vermilion. Oh. Is that all I have? Yeah, I'll make a blizzard potion as well. What's that do? Boost reflex and reaction time. Okay. Uh, and I think that's all we need to make.